show us how to carve out a special grown-up nook in our backyard. We got Christian Day! It's beautiful. So I have to know, have you made one of these in your own backyard? I have when I had a backyard. Okay. <laughs> but this one I actually made for a client. And as I was building it, I thought, this is actually a really easy DIY for City Line. Like, Trace could make this with me. Easily. I could make it. Yes. Well, first of all, you look at the set and you don't think DIY at all. So this is very cool. The whole tent situation is DIY. This is about as close as you and I will ever come to camping. Yeah. Because we're like, not camping, right? Like, I know gay camp. I don't know camping. Right. Like, <laughs> No. No. Dirt, don't want to be on bugs. the ground. No. Don't like the dirt. No. It's so you can do it in be your wet. backyard. This when is it perfect. gets too naturey, you can go inside. I love that. Right? Okay, so let's talk about this DIY. So the tent, it's really easy to make. You probably can make it for under $60. Ooh, that's all good. in. So the trick is a painter's tarp, just those canvas drop cloths, ah. is what I use. And then two by twos. Okay. So you can pre measure them, have them cut at the lumber store for you. Yeah. All my measurements will be online. So if you want to make the exact same size, you can. Okay. But I say make it to fit your backyard. So I'm going to show you a little miniature demo. I love that you did this. So In all teeny, you're really going to make version. is this is basically two by twos. I know it looks small. Imagine, imagine. <laughs> um, two by twos. So it's the sides and the backs. So then when you screw them together with wood screws, they become just like this. Right. And then you're going to make your roof, which is also <clears throat> the same concept. So the only trick with the roof is you're going to make one slightly smaller than the other. So they fit inside each other. Cute. And then it's like that. Oh. <laughs> That's why you should screw it together. But not exactly like that, because exactly this that. one actually stays. And then once you wrap it, <laughs> you have a little tent <laughs> and a little mini Tracy and a little mini Christian. <laughs> Right? And I say <laughs> soak it in warm water overnight and it grows to this. <laughs> easy, Are easy. those the only dollies you had, Christian? Yeah. I love that you're a Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, so beautiful. So you're you're done the tent. You've got the tent going on. Super inexpensive. Yeah. And then you have all of this incredible decor. Like a lot of these items, you might want to just shop your house, right? Exactly. So I think this is the most important part: is to glam it up, to make it more yes. of a glamp than a old school like hunting camp or something, right? <laughs> right. So I always say I encourage people to borrow stuff from their house. It's a great way to mix things inside and out. The only rule I'd say is like, so I borrowed these chairs from indoors in my place. Yeah. Do not leave them out overnight in the rain. No. They are technically leather and wood. They may not last so long. Yeah. But you could definitely use some really cute outdoor chairs inside. And I say pick what you want to do with your tent. Okay. So, for example, yeah. if you wanted it to be like how, where you nap trays, yes. you could put in a giant air bed, like a little blow-up bed, nice. pillows, cushions, maybe some books. Mm -hmm. But I thought, let's do it for lounging, so I added in a little record player. Oh, that's so, so good. So you could listen to some old-time old jazz as you sit out here. Is I really that wireless, to... Christian? You're big on your vinyl it and your It is wireless. So, yes, it's that's a wireless amazing. one, so it can connect to your speakers. Yeah. Or, for example, if you wanted to play games, I picked up these great games at Winners. Nice. So, sort of retro ones. Yeah. So it's all about making it chic and sort of what you want to do, right? You need one million pillows. Yes. Because that's very important. <laughs> you um, know me well. I, when you're at home, are you more on the ground or are you more in the furniture? So when I'm at home, what's so funny is I feel like when I'm outdoors, I'm yeah. more on the furniture. Yeah. When I'm indoors, I'm more on the floor. I'm on the floor. <laughs> yeah. I'm very blankets, pillows, and I'm on the floor all the time. Exactly. So keep that in mind. So for example, I pulled out this. It's actually an indoor outdoor carpet. Nice. That may be on your porch, but it looks kind of chic. It looks like something you have indoors. And then I added in throws and sort of seat cushions for if you wanted other so nice. friends to join you in your backyard sort of glamping thing. Right. You could definitely have them over, so it's easy. Okay. This is beautiful. So we're we're gonna get comfy. My t pants are super tight, so it's gonna take me a little while to sit, oh, yeah, sit. without the zipper breaking. Okay, I did Perfect. it. Amazing. Oh, Amazing. One, I'm here. One other thing you should always think of is yeah. also if you want to use it in the evening, add in some indoor outdoor lighting. Those are so You can so see I did nice. a little plug in so you could have light at night. Oh my gosh! Right? Easy, you can hang from the top, so it looks really, really chic. Yeah, I love so, that. We've got everything we need. Trace, we're missing one thing. What are we missing? Well, it's adult camp. What else do we need? Drinks? Yes. Okay. Hello. <laughs> you <need> drinks? <laughs> we need drinks. We need drinks. And right? I love your cart. Your bar cart is awesome. Great bar cart. Home sense. They've got amazing stuff there. Christian, you're not going to make me get up again, are you? No, I okay, will bring good. you the drinks to you. Ooh. But I actually make drinks from my backyard that people can make themselves. Okay, so what do you Because I do? don't want to make them drinks either. So <laughs> I call them drinks in a jar. 
Uh, I think you use these jars for like jam or canning <laughs> yes, or something. Some mason jars. <laughs> so since they said canning, I thought, oh, you put a can in it, right? right? <laughs> so inside to make it dark and stormy, I literally have a can of Fever Tree ginger beer. Yeah. You can pre-mix. This is some uh, Captain Morgan spice rum. Oh, nice. So I bought these bottles online. They come with a little funnel, so you can fill your pre-mix. And then you just need a bucket of ice, uh -huh. and everyone can make their own dark and stormy. Listen, so that you is do a not good need to take idea. care of them. Yeah, that is a good idea. There you go. You get the whole thing in the jar. I forgot one mm. thing. There's more. This you is always delicious. need snacks. Yeah. So I don't know if you know about this latest trend called a snackle box. <laughs> it's a tackle box, but I would get a new one. Don't bore your husband's tackle box. <laughs> it probably is a little fishy. This is so good. And you can fill with all your favorite snacks. These are the only fish you want in the snackle box. Goldfish. Right? Right? Oh my gosh, that is such a smart idea. You've got everything you need for a fun day out in your backyard. Yeah. And kids not allowed, eh? Right? No. No. Okay.